going on guys? Bob Voskirk here at Think Computers and I'm going to show you just how easy the Digit app is to use um, with a Griffin Beacon. It's what they use to connect all of your devices with an iOS device. Um, so first they're going to ask you to create an account. You don't have to so I'm going to skip that right now. It's going to ask if you want to use the TV listing so you can have a guide on your phone. So I'm going to hit yes and I already had inputted my postal code and I'm using Comcast so we'll select that. And it says that the beacon is detected. So we're going to start adding remotes. First, we'll do the TV. And it's going to give you a list. So you can just type in, I have a sharp aquos. So let's go ahead and put that in. And it, it's going to ask you to either pick from a list or use the remote wizard. So I'm going to use a remote wizard. I'll show you how easy it is to use. Um, I'm just going to click on that. And it says tap the power button to see if it works with your TV. So I'm going to hit the power button. And nothing happens. So it's def. Oh, wait. Nope. My TV did turn on. So that is the remote. So I hit yes. To ensure, to ensure TV is on, tap the menu button. So I'm going to hit menu. And it brings up the menu on my TV. So I hit yes. Just turn the menu off. And hit yes. Okay, make sure the TV is on tap of the input. So I'm gonna hit input and it brings up the input fine. Hit yes. Okay. So I'm gonna hit try remote two and here you can bring up the remote and see. Let's go ahead and put the volume up. And that's working on my TV as you can see here in a second. So now you can actually hear the TV. I'm gonna turn it down. So now I'm turning volume all the way down so you can actually hear me. Um, okay, so we're going to use that remote. Hit use the remote. And we want to add a set top box. We're going to hit yes. And our set top box is made by Motorola. So I'm going to select that. And it is a cable, just a plain cable box. And again, we're going to use the remote wizard. Okay, so we're going to hit the power button again. And, and my cable box turned off. So we hit yes. And we're going to try remote one. And go ahead and turn it on. And it turned my cable box, cable box back on. So I'm going to try the channel button to see if that works. And it does. Works perfectly fine. So we're going to use this remote. So I'm going to click on use this one. And that is about it. That's those are the two things that I have. Um, I do have an Xbox 360, which I should be able to add as well. I'm gonna hit no for an AV receiver because I don't have one. Um, add additional devices. I'm gonna hit yes, and let's see if Xbox is in here. So Xbox 360, and click on game console, and click on user remote for Xbox 360. I do have a Western Digital. Uh, live TV hub, but it is not supported right now. I've added it in so it can be supported. Um, hopefully they support it soon because I use that on a daily basis to you know, stream Spotify and watch stuff on Hulu. So I would really like it if they did add that. So we're gonna hit no. And I do not have a Netflix account, so I'm gonna hit no on that. Okay, so it says I'm set up. So let's go to the thing. And now you can see what's on TV. Um, you know, here's all the shows that are on TV right now. So, Two and a Half Men is on Fox. So, if I just hit this, that's all I have to do is hit this and hit watch. It gives you all the show information and everything like that. If I hit watch, it will change it for me. And there you go. It's on TV now. And if I go back to the guide and say, I don't know, let's say I want to watch How I Met Your Mother, we'll go ahead and change that and hit watch and boom it's on TV I'm watching it right now it's very very cool you can kinda you know you kinda get used to using it you can select the different devices um, so you can see my three devices listed here and you know if I just want to you know use my the remote for my TV it comes up if I want to use the remote for the cable box or if I want to use the remote for the 360 it's very easy to use um, Let's go back in here. You can set uh, this up with different rooms. So the profile I have for this is living room, but if I had another beacon in my bedroom, I could have a different profile. 
Uh, that's pretty much it. That is the uh, the Digit app with the Griffin Beacon. Very easy to use. It's awesome just being able to sit on the couch, um, have one remote for all my devices, and being able to use this um, this app so that I can just you know go through this guide and kind of see what's on TV. You know, if I want to watch Auction Hunters, I can just hit it, hit watch, and um, it will just it's changing the channel right now, which is really really cool. And also, it gives you information about the show. So if I'm looking through and I don't know what a certain show is, like say I don't know what Modern Marvels is, I can, you know, I can also see the episode episodes that that's on. So I can see that '90s Tech is on right now, and it's a it's a documentary, you know, it's just, it's just nicer than having to look at the TV and also have a ton of remotes. So that is the digit app that can be used with the Griffin beacon. It's a very, very cool, very simple. And like I said, guys, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe and check back on Think Computers for a full review of this product.